If you want to play FPS esports games such as Call of Duty, Fortnite, Valorant, CS2, Apex Legends, League of Legends and these type of games, this video is going to be for you. I will show you the best CPU and GPU combos with no bottlenecks for these type of games and you will have three combos, one for 200 plus FPS on average, which is the budget combo, one for 360 plus FPS and then you will have one that can run these type of games at 500 plus FPS on average. All the links to these combos will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. First, we have the budget combo. This one has the Ryzen 5 5600 for the CPU, which is a mid-range 6-core processor that is going to get the job done. And then we have the RX 6650 XT, which is one of the best GPUs in terms of price to performance, in my opinion. This CPU and GPU combo right now is $365, and in terms of performance, it will give you over 200 FPS on average in eSports shooters. Usually, for Fortnite, I do recommend going with an NVIDIA GPU, but those are going to be more expensive. So if you are willing to spend around $80 more, then get the RTX 4060. Otherwise, if you don't want to go over this budget or you don't play Fortnite, this CPU and GPU combo is ideal for 200 plus FPS on average on esports shooters. Of course, I'm talking about 1080p competitive settings. Then if you also want to play high demand name titles at 1080p on ultra settings, on a 15 game average from TechSpot at 1080p on ultra settings, testing these type of titles, the RX 6650 XT was able to average 85 fps meaning that it's going to be a very smooth experience even on high demanding titles at 1080p resolution but with this combo i usually recommend playing these high demanding titles on high settings instead of ultra because it will look basically the same and you will gain free performance if you have more money to spend on your combo for 550 dollars you can get the ryzen 5 7600 and the rx 6700 xt this is a premium 1080p combo that you can also use for 1440p high settings because you get the ryzen 5 576 angry you get a very upgradable system over time because you are on the new am5 platform and new cpus from amd down the line are going to be compatible with your motherboard which is nice and then since you get the rx 6700 xt you will be getting amazing 1080p gaming performance in any title in esports titles, like the ones I mentioned before, you will be able to achieve 300 plus FPS on average with no issues. And once again, if your main game is Fortnite, then you can buy the RTX 4060, which is a slightly cheaper than the 6700 XT, but you will be losing performance in basically every other title. In terms of performance in high demanding titles on that same test, on high to ultra settings at 1080p, the 6700 XT was able to average 103 FPS, which is a very high number considering the games that were tested. And then turning up the resolution to 1440p, the 6700 XT is able to average over 70 FPS, which means that you can also play at 1440p if you have a 1440p monitor right now or you want to buy one down the line. And if you want to play at 1440p right now on esports titles, you can expect 200 plus FPS on average with no issues, of course, on competitive settings. And then if you just want the best combo for esports shooters where you can average well over 360 plus FPS on average, even over 500 FPS in some cases, then I recommend you getting the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is an 8-core processor and is arguably the fastest CPU in the entire market. And then for the graphics card, you can get the RX 7800 XT or the RTX 4070 if you want an NVIDIA GPU and you want to play Fortnite. The total price for this CPU and GPU combo is 850 bucks, but if you end up going with the 4070, it's going to be a bit more expensive and you can expect to spend around 40 extra dollars to get basically the same rasterized performance, but once again, better performance for Fortnite. As I said before, in esports shooters, you can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average and even more than 500 FPS if we are talking about Valorant on low settings for example. So that really depends on the game and the settings and also the scenario that you're playing at because if you want to play for example Fortnite and you are playing the end game, then of course you will not be getting over 360 plus FPS but that's just because it's basically impossible to achieve those type of FPS in any system in that scenario. But for the most part, this CPU and GPU combo will give you everything that you need, but it's also the most expensive one. In terms of performance in high demanding titles, the 7800 XT on a 15 game average at 1080p on high to ultra settings is able to average over 140 FPS. And if you end up going with the 4070, you can expect over 140 as well. And then if you want to play at 1440p, the 7800 XT is able to average over 100 FPS and so does the RTX 4070. Also, if you want to play at 1440p, easy to run shooters, you can expect 240 plus FPS on average. So this is ideal for 
240 Hz 1440p monitor or a 360 Hz 1080p one. And the CPU and GPU are the most important components when it comes to your gaming performance, but you can bottleneck these components and you will not be able to enjoy the gaming performance that you deserve if, for example, you end up getting a bad power supply or not enough RAM to support the games that you want. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best complete PC builds of the month for every budget and every resolution. You will have that one in the top right of the screen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I will see you on the next one.